welcome back to Get Your Play Online. So today, uh, I'm Hannah, and today we will be doing Get Moving. Um, so today is the very first uh, day in um, the Superhero Week. So I decided we would learn some kickboxing basics uh, in order to fight off those villains. So channel your inner superhero and we will learn some kickboxing moves. And um, my background with kickboxing, I've taken a few uh, classes over the years so I know the basics and um, kind of what that looks like. And um, it builds not only your strength but also your confidence so you will be more confident just like a superhero right after the session and um, it's really good for you and uh, it's a great workout so it's a type of exercise and what you'll need is just a, just a hardwood floor, something uh, sturdy that you can stand on. You do not need a mat, though you can use a mat if you wish. And um, I would recommend barefoot or gym shoes. So I have my gym shoes here that I'm going to wear today. And uh, you can go barefoot if you wish. Um, but I would not recommend socks. It might get a little bit slippery if you do wear socks. So I would recommend either uh, barefoot or shoes. And similar to my last Get Moving session, I uh, printed out some of the basic moves and we will pick um, from the bowl and go one by one. And after we finish learning all of the basic moves, we will finish off with some combos. So something really cool about kickboxing is you can combine some of the moves into a sort of routine. So we will be able to become experts and combine some of the moves. So that's what we'll be doing today. And also make sure you have water on hand just in case you need to take breaks or anything like that. Um, but I'm really excited about uh, these moves and teaching you how to fight just like a superhero. So I'm going to go ahead and get my gym shoes on and then we'll get started with picking from the bowl. So this today is the first day of the superhero week. So I'm sure you will learn much more through Get Your Play Online um, throughout this week about superheroes and what your favorite ones are and how to uh, become one. But this one um, is more about superheroes that you would kind of see in the movies or something. So kickboxing is a form of self-defense as well. So um, this is, th this may be, some of these moves might be in some of your favorite movies. So um, first, Let's get started with the bowl, and then we will one by one go through all the moves. So here we go. What's the first one? Okay, so the first one is, um, well, before we start, I do want to teach the ready position. I almost forgot, so we'll leave that one for next, but the general uh, let me move my screen up a little bit. Um, the general um, ready position that we're going to start in for all the moves that we'll learn today is the starting ready position. So how that's going to look like is there's going your legs are going to be a little bit separate and you want a little bend in the knee. So you don't want them locked straight, but you want a little bit of bend. And you're always going to have one foot slightly in front of the other. So that can be either side, but it'll just be slightly in front. And then your hands are going to be in ready position right here. So right by your shoulders, they'll be ready right in front. And that's how you want to keep them whenever you're in the middle of a combo or um, in between moves. So you want a slight bend in your knees, your legs slightly apart, 
in your arms in ready position. And you want them tight, your fists tight and ready to go. Because a lot of what kickboxing is, is punches and kicks and things like that. So you want them ready to go no matter what. So kind of if you were faced with a villain, you'd want to be ready and be able to defend yourself. So in the same way, you want to be in this ready stance and prepared for no, not whatever comes at you. So that's where we're always going to come back to. We're always going to come back to this ready position, no matter what. So now we can, now that we learned that, now we can go ahead and learn the first move. So the first one I pulled out of the bowl was uppercut. So what that's going to look like is once you're in your ready position here, the uppercut is going to be towards the ceiling. So you're going to bring it down and go up towards the ceiling. Down, up, up. So that's what it's going to look like. And to go into depth of what that, how that feels in your body, you're going to start in ready position. And to start off, you're going to bring your arm towards the back wall, towards the back. And stop right about here, next to your hip, and then you're going to punch towards the sky. Punch towards the sky. So, two things to remember is first, you do not want to go straight up. So you do not want your arm to end straight, but you want it to still have that bend. So just like when we start with our ready position, you're bringing it back and keeping the bend in your arm, no matter what. So you never want to lengthen it all the way up. You have more power when your arm is bent, so that's why you keep it in that bent position no matter what. And in this move, the uppercut, you want to make sure, once again, in that ready position, starting in the ready position, that you stop right above your head or so. So you don't want to go too high up or too low, but you're going to start in that ready position, bring it back up towards the ceiling, up towards the ceiling. So that's what it looks like. And um, you will really want to make sure once you're in that ready position that your arms are tight and flexed and ready to go. So then when you do it, you can feel your power moving through the air. So you're kind of moving your um, arms through the air, like you're punching the top of the ceiling. So that's what that first one looks like. Um, and that is one of the basic moves, I would say. And um, it comes directly from that ready position. So that was a great one to start with. Now we will pick from the bowl again. What's gonna be next? Squat, okay, so this is more of a, of a duck move. So let's say you're facing a villain or an offender or something like that. Um, this squat is not an actual squat like we learned um, in one of my previous Get Moving sessions, but it's more of a duck. So let's once again come back to that ready position. And let's say you just did one of our uppercut moves. Then once you duck, you're just going to go down into a little um, a bend in your knees, an even deeper bend in your knees to the side or facing front, or if your legs were switched, this way or straight down. And it's just a quick little bend in your knees, just so let's say you were, um, someone was punching back, you could defend yourself and um, duck and miss it. So that's kind of the reasoning for that little move. But if you're in your ready position, all you need to do is just twist and lower. So you twist and lower down and then come right back up to your ready position. And then that is the most effective way to do that move. Once again, either side of the ready position and twist and lower or just lower. So either way, you're just doing that little duck. So once again, if we come from our ready position and you do an uppercut and then you duck. And something about this move is that if your arms are in ready position here, 
when you're doing this little duck, I've been seeing um, myself and realizing that I um, automatically move my arms up to block my head, and that is part of the move. So in order to fully duck and shield yourself almost, which is a move that we will get to, you're going to cover your head, cover your head so that you will be prepared for whatever comes. So you're going to be in your ready position, duck or duck. So those are the two ways to do it, either facing forward or to the side. And you're just a small little lowering your legs and covering your head. And that is how you can protect. And that is a great move for in between some of these moves. So it will be used later in our combos. So let's grab our next one. Da -da -da -da. Front kick. Great. This is a great one, too, and one of the basics. So you're going to start once again in your ready position. And this kick is just going to the very front, just as it sounds. So you'll kick to the front. And this can be low, as low as you want, or higher if you prefer. Whichever is comfortable for you and whichever uh, you are flexible enough to do. So for me, I go about middle, and that's where I feel I have the most strength, right there in front of me. So you want to keep your arms in front of you. It definitely helps with balance because you're on only one foot while you're doing the kick. And this can be obviously either leg, straight to the front, straight to the front. And something too important to remember about this move is that it is a strike. So you really want to strike forward, strike forward, and keep your arms at the ready. So let's say that you were doing um, the little duck in between, um, the little squat move that we just learned. So you want to be in ready position. You do your kick to the front, duck, and you can do it again. But make sure you're really striking all your power to the front. Strike, strike, and that will be how you do the front kick. And we have some variations of that kick later on in our moves that we'll get to. And they are just variations of that front kick. So I'm glad that we got that one in the bowl early on. So let's look next. Hook. Okay, so no, it is not Captain Hook from Peter Pan, but it is named Hook, and this is the move, um, another great move that we will learn, and it is a basic as well. So, you're going to start in, you guessed it, ready position, and what you're going to do for the hook move is your arm is going to go in a sort of circular motion coming towards the front. So it's going to come from either side in a sort of circular motion, just as I am showing right now. So your arm, instead of the uppercut where you're going straight to the ceiling, from the ready position, you're pulling your arm back towards the back wall in a circle, and it will be coming across uh, horizontally. So the uppercut, which was a vertical move, the hook will be a sort of horizontal move, and it is a circular motion. So as I just said, you're going to go back towards the back wall, come in a circle, and horizontal in front of your body. So that is how it looks and what it would feel like in your body, but it is a circular motion and ends in a horizontal um, in front of your body, horizontally in front of your body. So just as the same with the kick, you want to make sure that you are striking so it will go around and it will be end in a hard stop. So something to note, just like the uppercut, where we didn't want it to, to lengthen, that's the same with the hook. So you want it to circular and have a very distinct, sharp stop. So stop, stop, and then the other side, 
ready position. You can switch your legs and stop and stop. So it's a very distinct stop. And if you're doing those quickly, it can look like hook, 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 other side, hook, hook, hook. And something to note is that you can see that while I am doing the other arm, this arm always stays in that ready position no matter what. So that is something very special about kickboxing, but you need to keep your body in that ready position and it will be ready for anything. So it's really the preparation that is the most essential part. So you're in that ready position and just as this one arm is moving, this arm is staying completely still in that ready position. And you can have a sort of bounce with it. There's no problem with that. But you just want to make sure your body is still prepared in that ready position. So that is a great move. Um, and we will definitely use that in a combo later. Let's keep going. Da -da -da. Sorry, I want to make sure. Side kick. So this one will be a little bit quicker because we just learned the front kick. But... So, to review, front kick, you're in your ready position, the front, strike, strike, and it's really all about the balance. So, we did that one, now we're going to learn the side kick. So, where do you think we start? In the ready position, all ready with your feet slightly apart, and you're going, this one takes a lot of balance, I will say. So, you're putting your, length, your weight on that front foot, whichever foot is in front and your arms are in ready position and you lean to the side and kick. So something that's important is that you need to adjust your weight because it will be balancing on that front foot. And then you can switch your legs and do the other side kick. And make sure you're really striking just the same as we went over before, but you're in your ready. You want to transfer your weight to make sure you're stable and then strike to the side, strike to the side. And the same thing here goes as well. If you would prefer a lower kick that feels more comfortable to you, go ahead, that's great. If you can make it up high, all power to you. Once again, I usually am comfortable with a more middle ground, middle area. But just the same, it's really up to you. So um, that is the side kick. Same as the front, you need to transfer your weight once you're in that ready position and strike to the side. And one more note on that I will note, or I will say, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, you want to make sure that your leg is parallel to the ground. So the main difference between the front and the side kick, besides that one's towards the front and one's towards the side, is that the front kick, your knee is facing upward. So your knee is facing towards the ceiling. For either of the side kicks, you're leaning to the side and your knee is facing towards the front wall, not the ceiling. So you wanna make sure it's towards the front wall and that you're parallel to the ground. So what you're not doing is you're not going like this to the side, that to the side. Your knee should not be going towards the ceiling for the side kicks. It should be going towards the front wall. So if that um, might take some getting used to, some practicing just to feel that out, but that's an important part about these side strikes or kicks. So, let's move on in our magic bowl of options. Cross. So this is a cool move. Um, and first, I do think I should go over a different one before this one because it's important to know the basic before we get to this one. So first I'm gonna go over the jab and then we'll do the cross right after. So the jab is the most important basic of, of kickboxing besides your ready position. 
So the jab is where all your strength and movement comes from. So once you find that ready position with your slight bend and your feet slightly apart and your arms at the ready, the jab is going to be either forward or to the side and you can switch with your legs which means you can alternate your arm but that is going to be the basic punch so it's going to be the basic move to the front or to the side and once again your your alternate arm is always staying at the ready while you move that outside arm so this is your simple jab it will be to the front and what it really is is just a punch so you're making your arm parallel to the ground and just either going to the front or to the side. And you can do that with your legs switch to the other side. And you really want to make sure you're striking just the same, releasing all your energy and power out to the side walls. And that will make sure that you really have a release of your strength. So if instead you're just kind of like hitting it slow, you want to make sure you're really striking, and that will be um, building your muscle up. So um, that is the beginner jab. So that is where all the movement of kickboxing originates from, is just from those jabs, is really the beginner move out of ready position. So that is what I learned very first, and um, that is something that we had to go over before the cross. So once you've mastered the jab, and you can do that to either side, or you could do it to um, the front multiple times or the side multiple times. So once you're in the right position and your feet are slightly bent, you can go jab, 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 or something like that. Jab, 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 either way. And we will see these in doubles and whatnot in our combos, but that's kind of what it looks like. It's just a strike, strike, and you can do them as many times as you want. So that is the basic jab. So now we'll move on to the card that we pulled out of the bowl called the cross. So remember when I went over the ready position and one foot was slightly in front of the other? Well, what that means is because when you're doing the jab, your feet are opposite of the front arm. So my left foot is in front and I'm doing my right jab. Just the same as when my right foot is in front, I'll do my left jab. So that's super important to have a um, balance of weight while you're doing kickboxing. You want to make sure that you feel steady on your body and whatnot. So that's kind of why that is how that is. But the cross is kind of an alternate move. So once you're in the ready position and you've done a jab, a cross is the opposite, they're the same as the front foot. So it's the opposite of the jab, it's crossing your body. So whereas you do the jab and if you're still open, the cross would be crossing your body, crossing. So it's breaking that openness that you had when you were doing the jabs. So you'll be crossing your body. And so it is a sort of jab, but it's just across your body. So that's why it has a slightly different name. So I believe one of our combos later switches off between the two. So you can do jab, cross, jab, something like that, other side, jab, cross, jab. So those are kind of the basic combos, and we'll go over those a little bit later once we finish up the basic moves. But that is a great, um, that's a great combo move because you can easily switch back. Jab, cross, jab, stuff like that. So that's where that originates from. So now we'll go back to our bowl. I'm glad we got those two. Oh, we're almost done. So round kick. So, that's our next one. We've done the front kick, we've done the side kick. Now we're going to do the round kick. So, the round kick is going to be kind of just as it sounds, but it's going to be 
coming from your ready position. It's gonna come from the back foot. So whichever foot here, I'll show on the screen. Whichever foot is behind, so this one would be behind, that's going to make it way to the front. So it's going around your body. So that's where the name comes from. So this, you can see this back foot is to the back, and um, my hands are in ready position, and I'm going to move it to the front. So it's going in a circle almost. So you can really see that. So it's getting all the area before it hits the front. So that's kind of what it is, and this one you may need to practice a lot of times before you feel comfortable. I still feel mostly comfortable with the front and the side, but this one is reaching all of it to come forward. And then you can push it back towards, the, towards where it started. So that's kind of how it looks, and then if you look on the other side, we're in our ready position. It's going to start in the back and travel to the front. So it hits all those angles. So you really want to make sure, same with the side kick, that you're transferring your weight. So before I even start with the kick, you can already see I'm moving my weight onto the front foot and moving it to the, to the side. So to the front, to the front. And then once again, it travels straight back to where it started, into your ready position. So that's a super important piece is to always come back to where you started. And you're gonna go to the front, back, go to the front, back, go to the front, back, other left, go to the front, back, go to the front, and then right back to where you started. So those are all of the kicks, and let's see what we get next. We're almost done with these. Jab and cross lunge. So this is not a combo quite yet, but it is a move I did want to go over. So as we went over before, you have from your ready position, you have the jab and the cross. And something really important is that sometimes when we're in our ready position, our knees should always be bent, but they're not in like a full lunge. So let's say, you were doing a jab to this side and then you move to the front. So if you were doing a jab to the side, the lunge, the cross lunge comes in when you go towards the front. So you're getting deeper. It's not just the ready position that we were doing before. It really comes from going to the front, going to the front. So it's just that added um, effort from your legs to really emphasize the power of your arm. So you can use your legs throughout all of kickboxing, even when you're just doing arms, to really make sure that your power is emphasized. So if we have a jab to the side, and push to the front, jab to the side, push to the front, something like that. So that's just a small little extra feature of the jab and the cross. You can add that extra layer of getting really deeper into your legs. So last one, and then we'll do a few combos to finish up. So the last one we have is the shield. And this is definitely familiar to some who know all about superheroes. So the shield move is if we were to be um, just in our ready position, similar to the squat or the duck move, which you do this in, you're just moving your arms from ready position um, in front of your face. So it's a protection move, it's a defense move. So wherever you are in your ready position, you move it straight up, really quick, in front of your head and your face, and that's to protect yourself. So if you were to be facing punches or villains or biting them off, you want to make sure that you're protected and safe. So this is a great move to just make sure that you have your precious head and face covered. So that's just the shield move, but it can be used with the duck, as we saw before, or just from ready position to protect oneself. 
So, we have finished all of the basics, and now we will put a few of the combos into our bowl. So now we're gonna move on to the combos. So, let's see. Okay, this first one, I have already mentioned, but we will try it out. It is called the Jab Jab Cross. So, for our very first combo, what are we gonna wanna do? Of course, start in that ready position. And the combo is Jab Jab Cross. So, if you think about some of the moves that we went over, you might be able to decide what the combo will be. So, we're in ready position. You're going to do jab, jab, cross. So that is all there is to the combo. You're going to go jab, jab, cross. You can do this on the other foot. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. So that is the whole combo. But during a kickboxing exercise class, you may do that combo a bunch of times, several different times in order to get a really good workout and to um, build strength. So you're in your ready position, you're gonna go jab, jab to the front, and then across your body. Jab, jab, cross. So you'll see during this that um, after the jabs, I'm twisting my body to get that full cross in. Jab, jab, cross. So that really is um, the essence of the moves to the front. So that is the most, one of the most basic combos, I would say. And I mentioned that one before. That's a great one. Now we'll move on. Squat side kick. So if you remember what the squat was, it was a sort of shielding ducking move. So you're in your ready position. You can either squat here, squat here, I like to squat to the side or other side. You're going to squat here, squat here, and then the added part is the side kick. So this combo would look something like this. Squat, side kick, squat, side kick. So then you can do that to the other side. Squat, side kick, squat, side kick, but something to be really, um, something really important about this is that it's a Quick transfer of weight. So once you're in your squat, you want to make sure your hands are back at the ready. You transfer in side kick. Down, transfer, side kick. So it might take some getting used to that balancing act and transfer. But you want squat, front, side kick. Squat, front, side kick. So you really can see that that combo would be a great workout after quite some time because you're going back and forth and kick. And so it's a really great use of your strength. And um, that kick can get hard after a while. So that's a great combo one. We'll do a few more. What's this one? Jab, right uppercut, left hook. So this is a few moves in one. So. Jab, right uppercut, left hook. So we go ahead, start in our ready. You're gonna do a jab to the front, or in this case, jab to the front with this hand. Then you do a right, a right uppercut. I thought it was a cross for a second. So you're gonna do a jab to the front. Your arms are at the ready. Jab to the front, then a right uppercut. So that's, this was one of the very first moves that we did. So we're right up to the ceiling, right up to the ceiling. So jab, right upper hop, uppercut, and then you're gonna finish with a left hook. So the left hook was the circular motion that ended horizontally in front of you. So what this combo looks like is this. Jab, uppercut, hook, jab, Jab, I'm getting all twisted. Jab, uppercut, hook. Jab, uppercut, hook. And although it says right and left, you can switch to the other side. So 
So we'll switch to this ready position. Jab, left upper uppercut, hook. Jab, uppercut, hook. So if you do that and speed it up, it can get really tiring. So you'll do jab, uppercut, hook, jab, uppercut, hook. You really want to make sure your whole body is in it. So you can bounce a little, uppercut, hook, and really get all those muscles in your back and in your arms working, and even your legs while you're in that right position. Jab, uppercut, hook, jab, uppercut, hook. Stuff like that. So that is a really fun combo to do. We'll do a few more. That one's pretty similar. Jab, cross, hook. So the difference between that one and the last one is we'd be in our ready, and this combo would look like jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Which is different than our jab, uppercut, hook. Do you see the difference? So there's a really important difference there. We're doing a jab to the front, then the cross, then the hook. So really what you want to do, unless it is noted, you kind of want to switch sides. So jab, cross, hook, that could be jab, cross, well cross will always be across your body, and then hook. So that one automatically sh switches. But let's say it says jab, uppercut, hook. You could technically go jab, uppercut, hook, and all do that same side. But it feels better, in my body at least, to do jab, uppercut, hook, and switch off. So we just did jab, uppercut, hook, and then jab, cross, hook. So those are pretty similar ones. Uppercut, front kick. So we just went over the uppercut, but you're gonna be in that ready position. You'll do an uppercut and then front kick. Uppercut, front kick. And remember again, the front kick is the one where the knee is facing the ceiling. So you gotta balance, kind of pull back on that front, front so you can balance on that left. Where you're gonna go up and kick, and other side, uppercut, front kick, uppercut, strike, uppercut, strike. So that's what that combo looks like. Let's do one last one and then we'll finish up. Oh, I love this one, yay. So we'll do jab up, jab down, and squat. So this is a great one to be our last one because it adds something new. So we learned the jab from the start, which from our ready position was just going forward. But something that you can add to the jab once you've learned farther and farther on in practice is the jab doesn't have to go just straight out. It can go up or down, so you could jab, jab. And that's part of this combo, is it's not just a straight jab, but it goes up, down. So it all comes from that ready position no matter what, but it doesn't just need to go straight out. It can go up, down. So this exact combo was jab up, jab down, and then the squat or the duck. So that would look like this. Ready position, knees are bent, arms are at the ready. Jab up, jab out, squat. Jab up, jab down, squat. Jab up, jab down, squat. And just the same as the regular jab to the front, you're striking up or down and releasing all that energy. So on the other side, that would look like this. Jab up, jab down, squat or duck. Jab up, jab down, duck. Jab up, jab down, squat. So that's what that combo would look like. All right, so grab some water. You might be sweaty or tired after learning that. But those are all the moves and the combos for today. So now you can fight off villains just like a superhero. So thank you so much for joining me today for Get Moving on this nice Sunday. And um, thanks for coming to get your play online. And I hope you'll stick with us for the rest of the superhero week. 
So um, comment below your favorite move or if you're going to try these kickboxing moves out and um, get in a really great exercise workout. So thank you for joining me and can't wait to see you next time. Bye.